hi guys uh, welcome back in this video we're gonna construct our uh, binary tree most probably like I will try to uh, like uh, display also if video will be short okay if it is not possible in this video we will gonna do this in next video fine yeah okay mm, the basic difference between generic tree and binary tree uh, the generic tree code we already saw in our uh, previous video so I will uh, attach the link in description you can uh, go through that so now come to the topic like what is the difference between binary tree and uh, generic tree okay in generic tree if you remember uh, let me show something huh? yeah if you remember in code I am just zooming it okay yeah here we are taking array list right why we are taking array list because this is our node class right because of the with the help of this we gonna construct our one node this okay this is a code of generic tree and we took array list inside it why uh, let me give you the reason because in binary tree sorry in generic tree we are allowed to take any number of nodes like here okay like here and like here 0 1 2 3 we can take any number of nodes right like if I want to take here then it's also fine but in case of binary tree you can take either 0 either 1 or two not more than this okay so I already took like all the scenarios here like this 45 have this two nodes left and right fine and this 40 had only one node right left left child and this 32 doesn't have any node so two one or zero okay if suppose 45 had this third node then it should like violate the property of binary tree so this is a basic uh, idea about what's the difference between binary tree and generic tree okay hope you got it now come back to the code because we are here in this video to construct our binary tree so I give this idea because uh, uh, it is like necessary before constructing anything so now let me show you the code first of all like this is a small code for uh, uh, generating one node okay how look here I am taking data for this 50 okay and left and right while left and right are node type this while left and right are node type if you saw here this left and right is a left like left node of 50 and right node of 50 is node type so we have to take left and right as a node type to hold that okay so is it clear and this is a constructor this is a basic code so now let's move to the actual code practical implementation of it so as i told you the code is not different so i already coded it okay so almost same almost same okay if you have any doubt let me explain this whole scenario of code like what is saying and each and every line okay if you want me to code like in front of you in this video let's comment down i will code into that like uh, as same we are do for generic tree okay i coded in a video like uh, meanwhile only so let's see okay this we already seen like this is our node class left and right right and uh, this is uh, like data left right and we are just setting our data here okay let's come down in line number 22 this is a root node okay we are generating any node here so like uh, for holding anything so i just want to say this is a root thing okay root node 
and you know that uh, like i want to take a size also because uh, in future i want a size like i say okay uh, give me the size of a binary tree so that's why for each node just plus plus let me show you in the down uh, lines of codes why i'm taking it this size okay and this is a binary tree constructor which class constructor the main class this outer class constructor and inside this i take one scanner and uh, i take like input I take input matter and i pass a scanner object and null and false let me explain why i pass this all okay i pass this scanner to here why because i don't want to create an object like in this uh, method so i just pass from here only from constructor because uh, why i'm saying because I, uh, let me show you the code of a generic one because when i say new generic here okay so this class also have this uh, take input method right so it will automatically without my call the tree will be generated okay so that's why i just want to be like i don't want to be called particular at this method so when i want to create an object my tree start building and start constructing okay fine so let's move to the next line this method take input okay so in this uh, method i pass this scanner from here null because initially for any node the parent node will be null all right so and this is left or right why pass false you will understand in few minute okay let come down now here i ask first like uh, is parent equals to null yeah because i'm uh, i want to be create my node from uh, from 50 so it will say yeah it is null so it come here directly so it is a yeah then it will say enter the data for root node and this will execute later i will tell you when it will execute for first time only this code will execute for first time okay now this is a recursive call okay so data come here after it will say like enter the data for node it will come here enter the data for node uh, you will enter the data and again you will call the node class this class and it will give you the node from here and i will increasing a size here after that suppose you got this your 50 and what your next job is you want to tell like you want to ask your system do you have left node or do you have right node got it so i'm saying here in choice false do you have left node so left child if person like uh, if user enter yes then come down and again the function will call for left node got it and this time this is not null so i'm passing here true okay it will come here left and it will say enter the data for left child got it now why I pass here false okay because in case of first time it will not execute this block this particular block execute for after the first time it means from second iteration and if user pass the value true it this left child will be constructed user pass pass false then this value will con constructed okay now as same for i have done for uh, left as same for right th this number of code and all these calls are recursive call and how it is working let me draw one like first is come for 50 okay and it will ask do you have left child it will say yes i have left child okay here and after that it again come and it will say you have left child it say yes i have left child because why it came again and again because my code is not coming down if it is say from here only you do you have left child so these number of lines is not executing right this number of line will execute it when someone say here in this line yeah i don't have my left child got it suppose 
now this will tell no i don't have my left child so it will come here and ask do you have right child it say yes i have right child and here if it ask do you have left it say no do you have right it say no i don't have okay then again it come up okay and it will say like uh, how now this recursive call is completed and it come here right side again it ask for do you have left or do you have right okay now it will ask for these both if they say no and if they say no i don't have left and they say i don't have left right then whole recursive call go to the root node right now this left and right is completed for this for this then this root node will return here okay this is a super zoom <laughs> okay then this node will return to the this root got it and this we will use in our most of the functions right for uh, uh, retrieving a data of our size and all so this is a super easy code for binary tree. for this okay for this video it is enough in next video we will disk like uh, we will display all the uh, root nodes like uh, we constructed okay uh, because we want to construct so we will construct it and in the next uh, video we will uh, just uh, construct the test class and we will uh, display it okay fine yeah good so that's all for this video uh, okay let's meet in our next video see you bye